What's up, Fox Trotters? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, hello! It's so nice to see you all again. You guys look great. Yes, you person who's finally had it with that crack in your phone screen, as your phone appears to have texted your boss a series of unintelligible letters along with a well-placed heart emoji. Yep, time to upgrade. You look great. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day, whether you're at home, work, or school, whatever you've got going on. I'm excited to bring to you a classic r slash anti-MLM trash video. Uh, these are the light of my life, as you already know. And uh, let's just go ahead and without too much babble, as I often do, let's just go ahead and watch it together. If that sounds good to you folks, then stay tuned. As far as I could tell, this was 100% not satire. This was absolutely a typo. I'm going to go ahead and read it. Hopefully you haven't read ahead and seen it already. So here we go. Just a girl building her doTERRA oil collection. Almost there. Just keep racking up those points for a huge free order. Would you like a free 15-minute consultation? PM me. It would be the worst decision you ever made. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. I mean, I know that they don't proofread these things when they send them out, but I mean, come on. That's like the opposite of the word that she probably wanted. I'm sure she wanted best instead of worst, and somehow she got the opposite. Yeah, that's a heck of a slip right there, if I might say so. <laughs> Um, and the funny thing is you can see people liked it. There's, it's got two, well, I don't, I don't know, this Facebook, they hearted it, if they thumbed, thumbs up it. Is that a phrase? Well, it is now. <laughs> Either way. Yeah, uh, if anyone were to, um, PM her and, and ask her information about doTERRA, it would be the worst decision they ever made because suddenly their inbox would be flooded with information that nobody wanted. <laughs> How did they get my number? <laughs> Uh, Vector's pretty sneaky that way. They probably, um, uh, hired somebody that you went to high school with that knows a friend of yours through Facebook, and that's probably how they got your information. Honestly, that's, that's how they do it. They use, like, this weird five points of Kevin Bacon. It's at six points. Whatever, you know what I mean. They use this weird kind of, uh, networking tactic to get people's information. Uh, anyway, so the blue is the non mlm -er, and the gray with the pink icon is the mlm -er. Let's go ahead and start reading. What were the openings for again? I'm sorry, it wasn't mentioned in the previous messages. It's with Vector, and we were recently named DECA's National Advisory Board Partner of the Year. It's basic customer service work like explaining products, answering questions, and helping to place orders. Turns out I can get you in either Wednesday, blah blah, or Monday. Which do you want to do? Which time works better? <laughs> they didn't even like wait for them to answer the first message that was saying uh, ex or uh, explaining about the DECA's National Advisory Board partner. I feel like I should have Googled that to see what that even is because they tend to name arbitrary stats and, and uh, arbitrary certifications that they get from uh, usually things that they create from like committees that they create and fund. Anyway, so they just go right in. What time works better? They're just they're, they're going for it. And this person was ready. Can I bring my emotional support peacock? I get nervous around multi-level marketing schemes, please. <laughs> I'm not usually <laughs> one for the antagonizing of the Huns because sometimes it gets a little extra, you know, like, uh, you know, it's one thing to work for the solution. It's another to be part of the problem, you know, whatever. And so, anyway, but this, this made me laugh. <laughs> it's harmless, right? It's harmless. Can I please bring my emotional support peacock? This person's not saying, hey, you're an absolute a-hole or whatever for doing that or inviting me to this ridiculous thing uh but they are saying like i do think it's ridiculous though <laughs> i don't know i think it's funny <laughs> it's better than some of the ones i've seen on reddit which just some some of them are so mean and like catty and i understand okay that a lot of these huns deserve it i do but I just, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm now older and wiser than I once was, and I just feel like it's important in this day and age. Darn it, let's all start taking the higher road. I'm getting sick of this stuff. I almost said a bad word. My goodness, Den Mother's getting flustered. Oh, to be a fly on the wall for this one, absolutely. When your daughter, whose entire life is funded by mommy's makeup career, by the way, tells you she wants a certain other brand of eyeshadow palette for Christmas because she heard about it on Instagram, you spend an hour choosing the perfect shades for her customizable palettes after you show her countless influencers who also love Mary Kay. <laughs> 
All right. First of all, I'm looking at the colors you've selected, and I'm pretty sure your daughter's looking at other palettes, probably like the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson Conspiracy Palette or something else, I'm sure. And I'm sure it's got a lot of different colors. That you, it just, that palette you're going to give your daughter looks like you got six of the same colors happening. Okay, and maybe I'm exaggerating. Maybe it's more like four colors that look exactly the same. But I'm pretty sure that when your daughter was thinking about this makeup palette she wanted, she was like thinking about all these different colors and, and textures and like looks and all these different things she was going to go for. And you're going to give her this, this like used, sampled, pieced together, janky looking eyeshadow palette. And you're expecting your teenage daughter to be like happy with that. I mean, okay. All right. Yes. I will go ahead and say that of course she should be grateful to be getting any makeup at all. I totally get that. I'm not for spoiling kids. I don't agree. Um, but for Christmas, it's like your child is asking for something else and you're not only not going to get them the thing, but you're giving them something that you've had, that you've used, that is from a company that not a lot of countless influencers love. All right. I said that my, <laughs> my words sounded weird when I said that anyway, but there aren't a lot of influencers who like Mary Kay. If anything, maybe they've referenced it or said like, oh, my mom likes Mary Kay, or maybe they're referring to Mary Kay distributors who are on YouTube. Like it's kind of hard to tell exactly who they're referring to, but I just, to be a fly on the wall when her daughter opens up this present, like, <laughs> You know, and I am not one to feel like, uh, you know, I, I definitely believe that kids uh, should be grateful and when they get gifts, they should be just happy that they got something. Uh, but that also doesn't mean that you should just give them a bunch of crap. And this, this is crap and that's rude. <laughs> God. Oh. Yeah, like I said, I'm not one for, for material things being super important and brand names and whatnot, but like. I mean, this is going to be the opposite of what she was wanting. <laughs> Christmas morning's going to be awkward in this household. Yoo-hoo, Avon calling. Who is this Avon? Never mind. <laughs> uh, it's good to know that even graphic novels are getting down with this stuff. Like, they, even they know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, this one's incredible. Mommy win! Hands, hands, hands! Nothing but the best for my little man! Hard eyes! I used to use Johnson & Johnson and learned so much about how horrible it is! Thumbs down! I'm so happy we switched over and all of a sudden he can read now! <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Hold on, we were talking about shampoo or something, right? <laughs> and then, <laughs> how does that have anything to do with... <laughs> with him being able to read <laughs> there's also no explanation i looked in the comments there was no caption the comments didn't know what was going on either like <laughs> in general nobody knew what was going on with this there was no explanation at all it's just that this this mom is very happy that she stopped using johnson and johnson because apparently it's the worst stuff ever <laughs> i kind of doubt that but okay um <laughs> Uh, and they're so happy that uh, she's so happy that they switched over to this other shampoo and he can read now. Um, that's some incredible technology. If that is the case, if this shampoo can make your child learn to read, well, then the educational department needs to know about it. All right. Everybody in the world needs to know about this. This could change the world as we know it. Literacy and illiteracy would no longer be a question or a problem or a concern. All you got to do is wash their hair with this shampoo and bam, they can read. It's incredible. I mean, this is some kind of like alien science magic. What is Shop Club? Once again, I really didn't do my research. Oops. But I don't know what Shop Club is. Um, but apparently everyone, Shop Club and their, their, their products can teach your children to read. It's incredible. <laughs> we got to get, where's NASA? We need to get the government in on this. We need to, we need to get the word out. I, I need to find me a pigeon. 
Hey, I know this is so random, but I thought I'd reach out to you anyways because I'm a big believer in things happening for a reason and I came across your Insta and noticed you're obviously into focusing on your health and well-being. So basically, I have just started an online biz as a brand rep for a wellness company, not going to tell you who though, <laughs> and thought it might be something that would interest you. It's all done from your phone and you set your own hours alongside your current job. I'm excited about this because I've just got a house and with it, I aim to not stress monthly about money. It may or may not be for you, and that's totally fine. Just thought I'd reach out since you honestly never know. <laughs> if you'd be open to hearing more about how you could potentially take advantage of it, I'd love to chat more, hun. Let me know, XX. Hi, girl. Thank you for reaching out. I'm not interested, but wish you the best of luck. No problem. Thanks for getting back to me. <laughs> Hey, I know this is so random, but I thought I'd reach out to you anyways because I'm a big believer in things happening. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like the exact same long message to the exact same person. <laughs> it like made tears in my eyes. <laughs> Well, that's what happens when you cry. Did you know that? Your lacrimal ducts, they create tears. Well, actually, they technically store your tears. Um, and did you know when you cry and your nose runs? That's not snot. That's actually tears. They collect in that little duct over behind your eyes, and then they leak down through your nose. It's true. Google it. It's weird. Uh, I'm not sure why I said that. Anyways, <laughs> this is absolutely incredible. <laughs> the copy-pasting thing. It never fails to completely entertain me. It never fails to amaze me. I mean, I, I spell check and reread a text message, emails, posts, whatever I'm about to do. I like read it a hundred times because my biggest fear is to do something like this, <laughs> you know, and just look real dumb. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm pretty good at doing that. <laughs> anyway, let's be honest. <laughs> But, uh, I mean, this is like, this is, this is capital dumb. Capital, capital, wait, dumb with a capital D. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, we're going to move on. My words are having a hard time. I laughed too hard and my brain stopped working. Oh, if this isn't my favorite idea for an MLM, I can't even, well, well I, th I think actually one of you said in the comments below something about a really great MLM idea would be uh, a dog rescue MLM where I rescue a dog and then um, I get someone in my downline and they're supposed to rescue a dog and then they get a downline and they rescue a dog, you know, and then before long we've rescued all the dogs. I think that's wonderful. Uh, and this is, this is wonderful too. I love this idea. You guys, I feel like, and you can call me cheesy if you want to. Look, I spent a lot of years being an angry young person. I really did. I was an angry mad i wanted the I, I just thought that the world was was so messed up and maybe it is all right but you know you know what it's a really crazy thing but if you if you really get down to the nitty gritty when you when it comes to all of us and people when we really get down to it we are all way more alike than we are disalike does that make sense we have way more in common than not in common and that that's true we we love our families we love our dogs uh, we love a delicious coffee on a nice afternoon or maybe a tasty tea. I, you know what I'm trying to say. This climate that we're living in right now is just so uh, divisive for so many reasons. And I'm not going to get into what I'm talking about in specifics, but you know, a lot of you are smart cookies and you can put two and two together. I think that we live in a world, we live in a society <laughs> where right now it's just everybody's at everyone's throats. And a lot of people have good causes for being at other people's throats. A lot of people have good reason to be angry. And I understand that. But I just feel like we are losing a lot we're lo we're, where, where did the humanity go? Where did, when somebody needed you to help them across the street or, you know, they're stuck in the middle of the lane and traffic in the middle of the road and they can't merge over, no one's letting them over. What happened to just being nice and letting that person over? Are those two seconds really going to like change your whole day? You know, I just, I just don't know when, when it kind of got like this. And, uh, as you all know, I have another job where I work at and, um, it, it's serving. So I'm exposed to the public and, you know, I'm not going to get on here and be too unprofessional, but let's just say that there are times where things happen, where people act a certain way. And I just, I just feel like 
it makes me sad. I just want every, I just want to give them a hug and be like, who hurt you? You know, like what happened? What, why are you so mad? And I don't know. And again, I don't know what's going on in everybody's lives. It would be, um, very arrogant of me to assume that I know what anybody's going through. But one thing I do know for sure is that life is short. And like Jenna Marble said, it's also excruciatingly long. So while you're here, you know, you just do your best to be a loving person because when you're gone, when you're gone, like none of it really matters, right? But if you are, if, if you give love, then maybe after you go, that love will carry on and do some good elsewhere. So I don't know. That was a long rant on, on a silly little post. Um, basically, yeah. I would love this kind of MLM where we, we just spread love in the non-cheesiest way. Or maybe it is, maybe cheese is good. Do we need more cheese? We need more cheese in this world. We need more wholesome moments. We need more cheesy stuff. And we need more, more freaking hugs. All right? I love you guys. Ooh, and another one bites the dust, you guys. And wow, did I have to resist the urge to sing that because every part of me wanted to belt out that line. Okay, I can't. <laughs> I'm gonna get my little video, my little tiny channel copyright struck by somebody <laughs> for, for doing that. Hey, so I did something kind of nuts, lol. I like how she's yelling it. I joined a cosmetic slash skincare company, but I'm not gonna tell you who because then you'll unfollow me. <laughs> Their stuff rocks. I would love to show you more. Their mascara is insane. Would love to get you one. No biggie. Just passing the word if you need to spruce anything in your makeup bag. Uh, oh, well, your eyelashes look awful in the top photo. <laughs> you know, I was a high schooler once and not saying, I'm sure high schoolers now are way better at makeup than I ever was in my teenage years by a long shot. <laughs> I didn't even know you could do your eyebrows until I was in my mid twenties. Okay. But I feel like my eyelashes looked something like this. I feel like I was using that great lash by Maybelline, the one with the green cap and the pink tube. And I think I was using that and I would just clump it up, baby. Oh, I would just clump it up because I remember thinking that it didn't count as makeup unless it was very obvious. Otherwise, what's the point? What's natural makeup? Why would you want natural makeup? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but I don't know. The only difference I can see in the two photos is that in one photo, her eyes, her, her eyelashes look normal. There's no makeup on them. They're just normal. They're there. And then the next photo, it's like, <laughs> it's like, oh, clump city. <laughs> oh, the post gets even better. This is, okay, so the, the photo that was sent was a message that that Hun sent to another Hun to try to convince her to join the MLM. <laughs> this is the exchange. Hey, thanks for reaching out. I'm pretty simple when it comes to my makeup, so I'll have to pass this time, but thank you. A spoon's good, a thumb's cun. <laughs> I know, that's such, it's, it's stupid, it's so, so petty for me to be laughing like this but come on it's so funny <laughs> spun's good thumbs cun <laughs> just like she didn't look at all she just got that no from that person and was like well i don't care what i send back to you <laughs> just no effort <laughs> spun's good let's move on to the next one huh if you have a reaction to the oils it is only a reaction to all the chemicals in your body throughout the years. It is merely activating the toxins in subdermal tissues, allowing elimination through skin pores, urination, and or bowels. Body recognizes these toxins as foreign objects and wants to rid itself of them. Okay, well, I'm just going to go ahead right now and call all of that a whole bunch of hooey. That's a bunch of nonsense. I love this movie, but that's a bunch of hocus pocus. All right, that's, that is a bunch of nonsense. Uh... D no. If, if you have a reaction on your skin because of the oils, it's because you're probably getting a chemical burn. Most likely. Uh, this is dangerous. This is dangerous, especially when there's information out there, you know, like, <coughs> well, that was weird. What, what did you guys just, <coughs> oh, that was, that was something, wasn't it? Um, I don't know, but anyway, this is a bunch of, of ridiculousness. This is a bunch of nonsense. This is a bunch of tomfoolery. 
Nobody listen to this. Don't anybody pay attention to this. Don't anybody believe this, all right? Please, it takes one quick Google search and it will tell you immediately that all of this is ridiculous, okay? And if you're putting, okay, let's just go, if you are putting essential oils on your body and you are having like explosive bowel movements, oh my God, stop putting that on your skin and go to the doctor, please. This is just the most dangerous kind of information. So dangerous. This is People are going to be putting it on their children. Their children are going to be getting burns on their hand and they're going to be saying, no, no, that's the chemicals leaving your body. No, no. That is irresponsible. This is inappropriate. I dislike this greatly. Dislike button. Well, don't dislike this video, but if this particular post had a dislike button, then yes, but with whatever. I don't like this at all. Bad, bad, naughty, naughty, bad. I don't like it. Okay, girls, it's time to spread some holiday cheer because only girls can spread holiday cheer. <laughs> I've seen this go around previous years and I finally decided to do it. I just joined my girlfriend, Secret Santa, who's in. Secret Sister is back. With the holidays on the way and everyone so stressed, this is a fun and early way to spread kindness. And no, this game isn't a scam. It's super fun exchange among friends. The fact that you had to say that tells me that you're lying. I'm looking for ladies interested in a holiday gift exchange. Doesn't matter where you live, you are welcome to join. You have to buy one gift, valued at at least $10, and send it to your secret sis. Hello, Amazon. You will then receive 6 to 36 gifts in return. What? What? That doesn't make any sense. Explain yourself. Oh, you're not gonna? Okay. This is so much fun. I love sending a gift to a complete stranger, knowing that she would have a bright spot in her day because of what I sent. Let me know if you are interested and I will send you information about your sister. We all could use some happy mail, right? So, who's in? I tagged a few who I thought might be interested, but anyone is welcome to join the fun. Just comment, I'm in. Uh, I hope no one commented I'm in because this is a big old fat scam. <laughs> this is a big scam. Scam, 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 scam. Don't do that. That is terrible. Uh, and w what a weird promise of return. You'll get 6 to 36 gifts in return for, for buying one gift valued at at least $10. How does that work? <laughs> That goes by the same logic that if you join this company, this certain MLM, you're going to make $100,000 next week. It's like that same logic. Like, wait, how am I supposed to get that return? You tell me I'm going to get it, and you do a really bad job explaining how I'm going to get it. <laughs> but that, that explaining how you're going to get it is not quite the forte. That's not what this is about. Uh, nope, this is a great way to scam a bunch of people. Um, apparently just girls. Okay, girls. Uh... <laughs> to scam them into thinking they're giving gifts to other women or something. It's like way to take a nice concept, but do it so horribly wrong that it becomes some kind of like nightmare. <laughs> the comments below were absolutely priceless. If you, and also with these Reddit posts, if I ever post something and uh, it's something that you posted and you do want credit for it, you want people to know who you are, please go ahead and comment below. I'd be happy to, to give, you, give you some credit for that. I just tend to kind of blur the names because it seems, you know, just in case someone knows who your screen name is or something on Reddit and you don't want them to see that you're posting. I don't know. You know what I mean? It's just, but if you want me to like be like, hey, then go ahead and say, hey, and it's cool. <laughs> Could someone explain how you only buy one gift to send to your secret sis, but get six to 36 gifts back? Am I missing a step? Five to 35 people don't get gifts. <laughs> the old version of this, back when it was done through mailing letters, went like this. My Aunt A mailed a letter about a tea towel exchange. The letter included the address of my aunt, the person she received the letter from, and the person who sent that person the letter. I bought three tea towels. I sent one to Aunt A and one each to the two other strangers listed. I made six copies of the letter, including only my name, my Aunt A's name, and the person before her in the chain. So essentially, I replaced the oldest link in the chain. I mailed those six letters off to women I know. Nobody I sent letters to chose to participate. I got zero towels and learned a valuable lesson. <laughs> Oh man, 
you guys are funny. You guys are you guys are funny as heck. I swear. <laughs> no, Den Mother is so proud of how funny you guys are. All you're so funny and so smart. You're the funniest and smartest fox trotters ever. <laughs> oh. Mother's bias. It's okay. It's time for everyone's favorite segment of the video. It's time for the wholesome moment of the day. Let's see who you guys sent over. First up, we have this adorable guinea pig. Have I mentioned how much I love guinea pigs? I love guinea pigs. I know, okay, some people aren't into like the rodent thing, but I think they are so stupid cute, I can't get over it. Look at that effing face. Are you kidding me? Anyways, this is Leia. I'm going to assume it's Leia. It's spelled like L-E-I-A. But this was sent over by Vanessa. And Leia is a four-month-old Abyssinian guinea pig. I rescued her when she was one month old. And it's been incredible to raise her and watch her grow. She doesn't get along with other piggies, so we spend a lot of time together. She's incredibly talkative and has the most fun personality, along with the biggest ears. She is so <laughs> cute. I'm not sure I know what an Abyssinian guinea pig is. I've just always thought all guinea pigs... We're guinea pigs, so thank you. I learned something today. <laughs> and next up we have Mel, and this was sent by Bruna all the way from Brazil. Thank you so much, Bruna, for sending this. I'm also going to read the email that was sent along with the pictures. I guess I wanted to share about my little bean that's not that little anymore. Her name is Mel. It means honey. She's a stray. I think it's better to explain what happened. She was abandoned at our garage. Our garage has a big gate so you can put a tiny puppy through the gaps. It was not the first time that this happened. She was just a few months old. Her tummy was round and she was filled with worms. Oh, poor baby. At first the plan wasn't on keeping her since we already had another dog. So we left her with my great aunt that lived right next to us. Well, time goes by, Mel stays longer and my other dog unfortunately develops cancer. She passes away in her sleep, and after some days, we move Mel to our house. I'm so sorry for the loss of your doggo. While it might seem a bit strange, my parents and I couldn't handle the house being so empty. I totally relate to that. And this was the same circumstance with the other dogs as well. Mel at first stayed at our backyard, slowly coming into the house. I've had lots of dogs over the years, but Mel is taking the cake so far. She is happy, maybe way too much, loves eating, enjoys having her ears scratched, sleeping on blankets, and people watching by my window. She always comes to me when she hears me sniffle. I have anxiety and sometimes it ends up being too much and she stays with me until I stop. Oh, what a wonderful message. Thank you so much, Bruna, for sending this. And I totally understand about um, having a dog kind of quickly after another dog passes. Sometimes it just happens that way. And I feel like the spirit of your passed on dog would want the house to be happy and full of dog love. I feel like that that's what they're here for. So totally get that. And I also 100% understand having a dog around for anxiety. My dogs are great when I'm having a moment. They really are just wonderful, so supportive. And that really is um, just absolutely priceless. And if you're looking to get a new member of your family, I definitely recommend to Adopt Not Shop. Check out your local shelters, your local humane societies. Donate if you can, volunteer if you can, and don't forget to spay new your pets. And if you want to see a photo of your pets here, then go and send it to my email, which is in my channel description. It's also theburrowingfox at gmail.com. Go ahead and send me an email, and you will see your pets here eventually. All right, Fox Trotters, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked that video, please hit that like button down below. If you have any good comments or suggestions, please leave that down below as well. I love to hear what you have to say, and I love interacting with you all. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button and become a Fox Trotter. Come join the den. Den Mother would love to have you. And I'm going to link my Patreon here somewhere for you to check it out. And if not, no big deal. I'm just glad you came to spend some time with me. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed that video. It is a beautiful autumn evening here where I'm at in the Pacific Northwest. The sun is this beautiful, like pinkish peach color as it's setting. It's getting very chilly. There are leaves all over the ground and my dogs are ripping and raring to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and strap everybody up and we're gonna go for a stroll. So while I'm doing that, I hope you folks are having a wonderful day. And as always, until the next video, take care.